Hello everyone and welcome to Bob and Talk. In this video, I will show you how to do your own custom avatar poses. So let's get to it. I came to library avatar and selected the avatar that I want to work with. In this case, I added Henry, but you could do this to any avatar you choose. I have him in this 3D window and I've placed him in this blue lagoon environment. That's just a JPEG that I have as a background. You know that Clothe 3D comes with a variety of poses and you can activate those by going to avatar, select the pose folder, and then choose any of those poses. All you have to do is left double click and then apply the pose. But in this video, I'll show you how to do your own custom pose. So I'm going to close the library for now because we will work with the tool that is here under avatar display, hover over until you get to show x-ray join. Left click once on that and you will have this pop-up window. You may see this instead of the open window, just left click once on this arrow and the window will open and it will say IK. If nothing is activated here and you just have this purple dot here, you can actually grab the avatar by that dot and you can move the whole avatar anywhere in the 3D window space. So you could use this feature just to move the avatar and position it anywhere you like. If you left click on this, you have different choices here. You could have the full body activated or just partial joints activated. And notice that we have all of these green dots and I'm going to grab any of these dots, you will notice that the gizmo tool appears. Keep in mind here, we are in the partial or half body. That means that you can move only parts of the body. Also, take a look and see that there's a little miniature stick figure here that is your symmetry icon. If you want to move just the arm, then we have all of these yellow dots activated. You know that anything that is yellow is activated and will move. You could change the position by working with the gizmo tool and you can obviously move your location of the view and then change the pose for that particular portion of the body. If you want to move on to something else, then left click on a different part of the body and notice which points are turning yellow. If you want to move the whole arm from shoulder all the way down, then you want to make sure that all of the points are yellow. Anything that is yellow will move. Activate and then work with the gizmo tool to change the position. If you don't want to move the whole arm, but just a part of it, click away from the avatar and then only on the points that you want to move. I clicked on the elbow and the whole bottom portion of the arm activated and it's yellow. So I'm going to left click again on it to get the gizmo tool. And this way I'm going to move it forward a little bit. I could also grab and move the whole arm by choosing the square here of the gizmo. Just be careful. It's really easy to displace the bones. So it's always nice to have some kind of a reference of an image or a picture that you like. If you want to use the symmetry icon, select the portion of the body, the limb, the arm, the leg that you want to move, and then make sure that you activate the symmetry icon. And then when you move, one side, it will move exactly the same way the other side, regardless of the changes that have been made already. You can see that this arm is folded forward. This one is still just sitting sideways, but I can move both of them the same exact way. You could get really granular with this and come and take a look at every single joint in the arms and move every single finger. But this, you got to be really, really careful because you can easily achieve some strange poses where the joints are really not well positioned. But this could be really helpful if you wanted to make sure that this avatar, for example, is holding a bag or is just leaning on some surface. It's always a great idea to have some kind of a photographic reference, any kind of a visual reference of an actual figure. The other option here is if I have the whole body selected here, I can grab and move the whole body, but I can select only part of the body and then move the whole body based on that particular selection. For example, I have the whole upper part selected without the waist and the legs. And when I lift up and grab it, it will move the whole body and you can create a movement in motion this way. I could also grab, let's say, one of the legs and 
change the position of that and I can still push up and move the whole body. Just be careful, see how you can easily twist it in unnatural positions, make this really go into the body and twist it. If I am here in the partial joint, then I am only working with the selected portion of the body without changing the overall position of the body. And if you feel like you've created a monster or something that really doesn't look good, all you have to do is right click on it, reset joints. That will reset it to the original position that this avatar came in. Be careful with this feature because you may lose some parts because you may lose a pose that you created in earlier steps. So you could also use the edit, undo, or command Z or control Z depending on the computer that you're in or you could also open up the history and take a look here at all of your movements and come to that. For example, if I want to go just two or three steps backwards, I can select a level to which I want to go back to and it will take me there. So this takes a little bit of an adjustment, but with a bit of practice, you'll get really good at this. It is also a good idea to start with a pose that exists in the library and then modify that from there. I'm going to deactivate the IK, make sure that I like the pose. And let's say that I want to use this pose for a future design or display of mine. You can save the pose by coming to file, save as, pose, and then give it a name. I would start by giving it male. Make sure that you know what version of this avatar is. So mine is version two. And then I would actually name the pose. I'm going to call this walking left hand holding and I will save it in the pose folder. You can double check and make sure that it is under avatar male version 2 so that you can call this pose from the library. So I'm going to save this and now I can come to my library, go to avatar version 2 male and go under pose and then look for my pose. I can see it here, male version 2 walking left hand holding. Just to show you how this works, I'm going to give it an existing pose. So we're going to start with this T pose and I want to apply the new pose that I created. So I will just come to my pose, left double click once, say OK, and I get the pose that I created. And that's how you can create a custom pose. Also check out my Patreon page. I am now doing live online sessions twice a month where we can get together. I can do live demos and answer your questions live. If you learned something new, if you like what you saw, please give a like to this video, subscribe to Bob and Talk, and feel free to ask any questions.